Welcome to Synagogues of Israel, Part 4. In this episode, we check out Jewish houses of worship and institutions in the Old City section of Jerusalem. This is the front entrance to the Beit El Synagogue. It's a yeshiva that stressed Kabbalah. And it's also known as Midrash Hasidim, or School of the Devout, and Yeshiva Tamakubalim, or the Yeshiva of the Kabbalists. There is also now a new Beit El Synagogue located in the western part of the city on Rashi Street in the Ruchama neighborhood. The reason is that in 1948, when the Jordanians overtook the old city, the original facility was lost. The Yeshiva goes all the way back to 1737. An earthquake in 1927 in the Yericho Dead Sea area was felt in this area and did damage and destroyed the building. It was rebuilt within a year. It was said that the Chazon Ish at one time had visited the premises. When the old city returned to the Israeli hands after the 1967 war, this building was not reused until 1974. An additional remodeling was done in 1995. And here is the reconstructed Churva Synagogue, also known as Churvat Rabbi Yehuda Hechasid. Here is what the original building looked like in the 1930s. And here is a look at its interior in those days. The Arab Legion destroyed the original synagogue during the 1948 War of Independence. Here is a look at the reconstructed interior and a comparison side by side of its original interior and the reconstruction. The totally rebuilt synagogue facility was constructed in 2010. We're now looking at the Menachem Tzion Synagogue, which was constructed in 1837. Some say that it was given the name Menachem Tzion from the words that are mentioned in the Tisha B'Av fast day commemoration of the destruction of both holy temples. It too was put into the hands of the Arabs after 1948 and restored after the victory of the 1967 war. A major renovation was done to repair extensive damage around 1992. Supposedly, the synagogue was built by Perushim, or Pharisees. Perushim had strict observance of both the traditional and written law. The Hebrew word itself means separate. They kept themselves separate from those who disagreed with their customs. It's also possible that the congregation is named after its original leader, Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Shklov. Now looking at what might be considered the old city's oldest synagogue, that of the Karaim, or the Karaites, who was also known as B'nai Mikra. Its first synagogue was originally constructed in the 9th century, but within a couple hundred years, the Crusaders destroyed it. When the Muslims retook the city, the synagogue was rebuilt in 1187. Today, the synagogue is below street level, but originally it was at street level, but the city has kept rising above it over the years. After the 1967 victory against the Arabs, this synagogue, along with the old city, returned to Jewish hands. A renovation took place in 1982. Supposedly, there are about 50,000 B'nai Mikra, or Karaites, around the world today. And for those who don't know, a Karaite accepts only a strict interpretation of the written word of the Torah. There is a synagogue in the Muslim section of the old city that is now called Ohel Yitzchak. The first picture there showed what it looked like when the Arabs destroyed it. It was purchased by a religious Zionist group and refurbished and opened for use in 2008. It had previously been known as the Shomrei HaChomos Synagogue as well as the Hungarian Shul. The latter is a reference to the Hungarians who originally came here and established the congregation in the 1870s. They were students of Rabbi Moshe Sofer, also known as the Hassam Sofer. They called their community Shomrei HaChomos, which means Guardians of the Walls. They left the area after the riots of 1929 and reestablished a community in more western parts of the city. 
This new building is supposedly an exact replica of the original one. And finally, we can't neglect to mention that in the walking down to the promenade area of the old city wall plaza, one passes alongside the prominent Yeshivas HaKotel. It was established immediately after the Six-Day War in 1967 and the regaining of the old city. The Rosh Yeshiva is Rav Baruch Weider, but even more famously known is the Posek of the Yeshiva, Rav Avigdor Nebenzal. He had previously been the chief rabbi of the old city and is the rabbi of the Ramban Synagogue. We conclude this episode, but we still have several more synagogues in Jerusalem to check out. So, see you soon.